Hello there, my name is Sugit and welcome to course on hydroponics. This is the first video in course where we are going to see what are the topics we are going to cover. We will start with the prerequisite means what are the things you need to have an order to start hydroponic business. We will cover costing and finance to understand how much money you need to start this business. We will also discuss loan options and other financial options available in India. We will cover basic touch points of what is hydroponic, why we should go for hydroponics, types of hydroponics and we will also cover what is the difference between hydroponics and aquaponics. We will cover pre-project inspection on how we can uh, do the land, water and the weather inspection to finalize location to set up your project. We will also do market research to understand what are the crops we can produce to get maximum profitability. We will cover few key factors and we will spend good amount of time in understanding them. Some of them are land, sunlight, polyhouse structure, frames, net cups, grow medium, fertilizers, pH, EC, micronutrients, growth boosters, climate control, and others. At this point, we have sufficiently covered our information and research phase. Now we'll work into the actual project development. Here we will set up a hydroponic project on our own into 40 days. We'll cover every aspect of the project development with proper images, videos, and guidelines. Once our project site is ready, we'll jump into the crop production. How we can select crops, how to select seeds and order them, seedlings, the water uh, schedule, seedlings, fertilizers, requirement and other things will be covered into this session. Along with this, we will also cover quality maintenance, how can we measure plant development, root growth, leaves growth, water quality and climate controls in different weathers. By now, we have covered all technical and development aspects of the project. Now, we will go little deep into the business side of the project and learn about the legal and paperwork required for the project. We will cover company registration, if you want to go for the proprietary sheep or a private limited company. We will learn about the GST registration and crop insurance as well. Now comes the interesting part and the most important part where most of the farmers struggles. We will discuss marketing side of the business. We will learn about the local market, B2B market, B2C market and B2B2C market. We will learn about how we can do sampling for the domestic market as well as export market. We will also calculate how to price our product to get maximum uh, profitability. Here we will calculate our per plant costing, return on investment costing, maintenance costing, labor costing, as well as the market pricing. We will also learn about harvest techniques to yield maximum output. We will learn about the pruning to create a new batch, new batch of a saplings or cuttings. Now comes the interesting part, payments. We will understand about the payment cycles in Indian agriculture market. We will decide payment cycles, long term contracts, how to collect payments and manage line of credit. We will also look at the taxation policy of Indian government. By this time, we have covered entire hydroponic business along with research, setup and operations. But we will not stop here. We will see some additional features we can insert into our successfully running business. Like how to manage electricity failure, how we can use timers to save on electricity, how to do waste management and we will al we'll also discuss about the common crop problems and their solutions. In this course time, you will download few things. Some of them are the hydroponic data tracking worksheet and some of them will be the system maintenance checklist. We will also download pH calibration worksheet, fertilization schedules and the growth booster schedules. Now we come to the most interesting part, handbook. This entire learning is well documented in handbook. You will download this handbook on day 1, print it and keep it with you all the times while learning with me. You will need this handbook to make important notes and this handbook will be a blueprint for the business. If you like this course, please be sure and review it here and tell your friends as well. Okay guys, let's get growing.